Hey everyone, Kodathan4 here. Welcome to today's video. We are doing something a little bit different. I have had a couple of my subscribers and people that have tuned into my live stream want a desk tour. And to be honest, I was a little hesitant because as you can see, I have nothing special. This is not some dream setup that I have. This is not a you know, $10,000 setup. This is just what I have, what I've gotten over the couple of years of me doing YouTube and I'm just going to show it to you guys. I, yeah, there's not much to show off, but you guys wanted it. So let's get into it. Before I begin, here is one of my cats. This is Jasper. She is, how old is she now? A little over two years old. This is one of my two cats. She's a lot shyer than the other one. We'll see if he comes in, but these people, these cats have made an appearance on stream before. So if you recognize them, this is the... Uh, this is them. I wanted to make a disclaimer before I continue. If you notice anything like cable management that you don't like, uh, yeah. I don't really care about cable management, plus I don't really have things to manage it. So I make do with what I have. We're going to start with the center, and we're going to go out and just talk about each item I have on my desk, the purpose that it serves, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So to start off, and I have my list of items here pulled up or some of them at least because i don't remember everything that i get some of these i have had for a couple of years so this keyboard right here is the g915 from logitech i got this keyboard at the end of 2020 i believe that's when it was first released was the end of that year um and i'll have these i'll have them up on screen when i talk about them for like the price and whatnot I love this keyboard because it comes with a number pad on the side. It has all of these different buttons up top and on the side. I love this volume scroll wheel. It is so fun to play around with. And RGB, of course, everything's got to be RGB. You're not a gamer if it's not. But when it comes to Logitech, I love the wireless aspect, but they have something called light speed. I believe that's what it's called, where even though it's wireless, it still has the same speed as wired. So I don't have to worry about as many cables, but I'm still getting that same connection. So with that, we also have the Logitech G305. This is one of the go-to gaming mice out there. From what I've heard, it's the best bang for your buck. It lasts me forever. I think I got this the same time as I got my keyboard. Battery lasts amazing, super precise. There is a better version that's more expensive that has more buttons because this one only has two side buttons but that's i don't i'm not that type of person who needs 20 buttons on the side of my mouse so this does me great i have had no complaints with it and i have this other tiny logitech mouse that i got i think as a christmas gift a couple of years ago this is what i use to control my laptop which we'll get into momentarily this is the elgato stream deck i don't know what type it is i believe it's i i don't know the standard one i'm sure i'll show it on the screen oh and my cat bumped into my camera this stream deck let me see if i can uh yeah i can take it off here this is what i use to control all the things on my stream let me see if i can hold my mouse and and do it so i have folders that allow me to go to the different um settings or the displays for my stream so whenever you guys see stream starting um, stream ended, uh, please wait, or something like that. That's something that I control from here. I'm able to control um, if I mute myself or if I mute others on Discord, which is honestly the biggest feature I use for it. I can take screenshots, I can record. I'm sure you can see that middle button right there, flashing red. That means I'm currently recording right now. I can have preset um, audio sounds if I want to have whatever like reaction sounds i can do that that is my stream deck it's my quick and easy access to functions that i normally would have to minimize my game for or open up a new tab for this is my only non electronic item that i keep on my desk this is a hacky sack uh dragon ball z dragon ball this is something my cousin just got for me this past christmas and it is amazing. It's just, it's something that I play around with when I'm editing videos or if I'm just bored on my computer. I'm always spinning it in my hand. I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball, as you'll see. And 
it yeah it's my only non-electronic item that i keep on my desk and it's something that i use to anchor my webcam cover over so i don't lose the cover and it's also it fits perfectly so that's uh, a big purpose for that i have the elgato capture card hdx i believe that's what it's called this is what allows me to stream whatever's on my main computer over to my laptop which we will get to which broadcasts the stream of course if i have a console i can hook up the console to this basically before i had this capture card i streamed and played on my computer now if you remember back then i had a lot of uh well i still do have a lot of computer crashes so whenever that would crash it would cut my stream and my game and it it sucked let's just say that what are you doing cat so because i have this capture card now i'm able to take off more load load off of my computer from both streaming and playing games and transfer some of it over to my laptop so this doesn't work as much but also because i have my laptop now i am able to continue streaming even if my computer crashes i guess i should say when my computer crashes because we all know that it happens eventually so i'll back up a little bit here you can see this little attachment to my desk that is where i keep my microphone stand i don't know if i explained in the beginning that i decided to hold this so i don't have to move my mic stand all over and get it in the way of things i have it currently just laying on my little uh drawers over here nothing special just a generic mic 15 dollars mic stand that i found on amazon um but it just frees up more space on my desk because as i mentioned i like less cables even though i don't manage them well and it uh it just looks cleaner okay we also have my mic to talk about this is i gotta pull it up the sure mv7 so the go-to microphone for streamers is the Shure SM7B, which uh, to be honest is a little more pricey than I wanted to spend on it. Um, but it is like the holy grail of microphones. And so I did a little bit of research and I found the same brand and a smaller, cheaper microphone that delivers essentially, what was it like 90% of the quality of the microphone. Uh, that's, that's as good as I wanted to get, like for what I had compared to my previous microphone this is a huge jump i do have the sure sm7b pop filter though people mentioned that when you do get this microphone the filter or the um yeah filter that it comes with is a little thin or just small and they suggest getting this bigger one so i uh opted for that and now i'm very happy with my microphone because i got this pop filter i'm able to have a lot better quality when it comes to gaming to streams, to podcasts, to whatever it may be. And I I could not be happier. This is probably my favorite thing that I own in terms of my setup, besides my computer, obviously. I guess the very last thing to mention before we move on to the computers and whatnot, or at least go to the outer area of my desk, is this computer mat. I don't know what brand this is. My brother got it for me back in 2020 and i absolutely love it i love the big i just love how big it is and it covers all of my desk pretty much at least all the working space that i use so shout out to him okay so now done with the actual desk itself and now we're moving on to the bigger items this is my what is this asus laptop i don't know what <laughs> the name of the laptop is but i'll probably put the specs on the screen this is the first real gaming laptop or gaming computer that I ever got. And I got it back in 2020 as well. You'll notice that I got a lot of things back in 2020 and they still are serving me really well. This, as I mentioned, is what I use mainly for, well, I guess 99% of what I use it for is my live streaming. Everything runs through here. Whenever a game crashes, this keeps it running, it feeds consoles through and there it goes. So this is, keeping my streams alive thankfully I no longer have to rely on this computer like i mentioned before if we make our way over to here i have the razer cairo webcam this is a webcam that my brother got for me when i hit i believe it was 100 subscribers um i'd have to go back and watch my old youtube videos but i think i told myself when i hit 100 subscribers i would uh start using a webcam to show my face to make my streams and videos a little bit more interactive and to surprise me with that goal, my brother 
gave me both this webcam and this light that I'm using to make this video a little bit brighter, which is the Logitech Litra Glow, Litra Glow. I don't know how you say it. Picture on the screen, of course. It's a tiny little micro or microphone. It's a tiny little uh, light that is really bright and it's nice and compact, plugs in easily, doesn't take up much space and it's Logitech. So it fits my uh, ecosystem there. When it comes to my gaming monitors, I only have one, which is my MSI Optics, blah, blah, blah. Under 44 Hertz, uh, QHD display, curved monitor, which I loved curved monitors. Um, and the one above it, which I don't think you can see that well, is just some generic Samsung monitor, which I honestly have no idea how I got. I want to say, like back in 2016 or something, my cousin and I went to a thrift store and we found this there for like 10 bucks and we bought it. And I guess I've kept it in my closet ever since then. And there you go. So I hardly use this monitor. The only time I do use it is during streams when I can show chat. I have my chat up there, just um, any other sort of analytics that I need. It is not a gaming monitor whatsoever. I think it's a 720p monitor at like 50 hertz. So this is the main boy. That is the uh, whatever. And this one is connected to my laptop. So with my gaming PC, which we'll get into for a moment, is strictly powering this one. So I'm trying to take off as much load as I can from my computer so it doesn't crash, as you guys are aware with my streams. Okay, so the biggest thing on my desk, of course, is my actual gaming PC. This thing has been trying its best for me for the past couple of years that I've had it. I'll have the specs on screen, as I said before. This thing is good enough for what I need it to do. If I took away all the crashing that happens, this would be a great gaming PC for the next year or two. Don't buy pre-built gaming PCs unless it's from a good website. That is what I've learned from my, my gaming PC because this I customized on their website, but I didn't build it. So I don't know if it's built incorrectly or just something, but that's what's causing it to crash. Next time, I'm probably just going to build one myself or buy a fully pre-built one all the gadgets included just pay for it and be done so one of the last things on my desk before we get to the knickknacks that i have is my new wireless let's see g535 headset like i said i have a lot of names that i don't know i recently broke my wired headphones I, something happened and the plug that goes into the computer just totally snapped totally useless and I'd been really wanting wireless headphones and I, I guess it was just a stroke of luck. I broke those and I was able to get these ones. I cannot tell you how liberating having wireless headphones are. I feel like whenever I had to plug in headphones, I was just cemented to my chair. I could not leave. I could not do anything. But the moment I got those, so amazing. I highly suggest getting good wireless headphones if you can. Those ones are super cheap, of course, on the screen you'll see them, but uh, I cannot recommend those enough. I do have my green screen from Elgato that I have underneath my bed. That's where I store it when I'm not streaming. I'll show you a picture on the screen on what it looks like. That is my, I believe that's my newest addition to my streaming collection. Definitely something I needed because if you were to look at my old uh, green screen, my old stand that it came with, it is like, I'm looking at it right now. That's what I'm using to hold up my light. It looks atrocious. Duct tape, it's leaning, uh, no bueno. This Elgato one, a little pricey, but it is so worth it. It is amazing. It's so easy to put up, take down, stores away very easily, high quality. Oh, I could not live without it. So that's the one that I'm not, going to be able to show you here in the camera, but got to include that one as well. So now we're going to get into the little knickknacks that I have near my desk. You can't see it, but up this wall, I have a couple of shelves and that's where I keep all the things that I like to look at throughout my day. On the lowest shelf, I'll see if I can uh, hold these up to the camera a little bit better. We have some Call of Duty Zombies apparel, whatever you want to call this. I got these perk shot glasses and also this monkey bomb control 
controller and phone holder. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember where I got this. I think I just saw it online. I wanted to make a TikTok for it, an unboxing video, and so I got it. It, I love it. I love the monkey bomb. I love the OG perk shot glasses. These ones I've had for, uh, I think back in 2015, 2016 as well. So if you know me, you know that I love Call of Duty Zombies and those ones have their own designated shelf. Okay, so for shelf number two, we are starting off with a Dragon Ball Vegito figurine. This is one that I got way back as well in 20, I think this was 2018 I actually got this. My cousin and I went to a store at our mall. I got him, he got Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he got that figurine, and we've both kept them and just have always had them somewhere near our gaming desks. And it's just a constant reminder of how much we love Dragon Ball. We also have here an Avenged Sevenfold mug. This is a gift that my wife gave me just this past Christmas. And for some reason they messed up the printing. There's that weird white line. But uh, other than that, Avenged Sevenfold is one of my favorite bands. Absolutely love the mug, love the band in general. And that is why it's there. And to show off the last item on the shelf is my Italian Lego police car. I have had this Jeez, I have had this car for, I think since I was 12. So over 10 years, I it's, it's one of those items that I just can't get rid of. I have to keep it with me. I still have every piece to it. I haven't lost anything. It just means a lot to me and I'm just keeping a hold of it. So there you go. And to finish off, we have our third and final shelf. I realized that except for the first one, the Call of Duty Zombies one, these don't really have any particular theme. Um, I kind of just throw whatever onto each shelf that I have space for. I have a Rubik's Cube that my wife got me for Christmas. Yes, I do know how to solve it. I'll probably have in the corner of the video a time lapse of me solving it because why not? I feel like I need to prove it to you guys that I know what to do. But Got that from my wife from Christmas as well. This as well. A little Lego astronaut. This is one of those like three in one Lego sets where you can build different things. I believe it was an astronaut, a what's the word? Space shuttle or like the ISS. So I decided to do it the spaceman. He just hangs out on my shelf. Going back to the theme of Dragon Ball, this is a primitive skateboard that my brother got for me. Of course, it's Dragon Ball themed, as you can see. Still got it in its original plastic. Definitely one of my favorite things that I have on my shelves. And the last things on my shelves are a couple of artist merchandise as well. I have a Gimme Love Joji Spoon. This is part of his Nectar album merchandise. I have the... In Tongues Joji Vinyl, one of the best EPs ever created, in my personal opinion. And his most recent Smithereens album has a vinyl as well. I have a couple of more vinyls out on my shelves. I have a couple of Red Hot Chili Peppers, some Avenged Sevenfold. These two I keep on my shelves because they are very near and dear to me. Um, as someone who has listened to Joji since... 2015 since uh chloe burbank he he just means a lot to me and i've seen how much he's grown as an artist and so that's why i keep him on my shelf versus somewhere else as we wrap up the desk video i wanted to include at the very end kind of the personal things that i keep on me every day nothing special but to start off the thing i'm recording on is my iphone 15 pro max something about me is i always have to have the newest and nicest phones I always have to have the iPhone 15 or whatever the newest one is, but also the best model of it. Um, I'm not like that with anything else. I don't care about my computer being old, my monitors, my cars, my laptops, tablets. It's always my phone that has to be the newest generation. So I don't know why I'm like that. I also have the AirPods Pro Gen 2. I believe that's what they're called. The one with the silicone tips. These ones fit my ears super well. Battery lasts amazing. I love the ability to play pause with the stem, whatever that's called. Um, and also 
my Apple Watch Series 8. I don't really care to upgrade to the Series 9 right now. There's not really much different worth upgrading. So I'm sticking with this one. I might get the Series 10 when that comes out. But as you can see, I'm in the Apple ecosystem. You can thank my wife for that. Well, with that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. As you can see, I am a small YouTube content creator. I don't have much to show for it, but everything here serves a purpose and I'm very happy that I have it. I am very happy and blessed to be able to create YouTube content for you guys. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. I am excited to see in future editions of my desk tour, however far out they may be, that we have more stuff to add to it, maybe some newer technology. I don't know. We'll see as I uh, continue my YouTube journey. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.